Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be exploring the subterranean shunning grounds. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. The only thing I did was go ahead and switch out my, what, what is it called? Radagon's Source Seal. I took that off and I put on the Blessed Dew Talisman. And I went ahead and put on the Pale Drake Talisman plus one as well. And I did put on the Beast Repellent Torch. We're going to need that a little later into the video. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. These guys aren't too hard. You just want to get heavy attacks on them. Stagger them. Once they're staggered, they're a piece of cake. Get the blood soaked manchetes and the blood soaked mask. Along with a golden ruin 11. We're going to come over here to this ladder. We're going to slide down it. This is most definitely going to be a longer video. We have a lot to do in the subterranean shunning grounds. Just want to get the imps attention one at a time. Don't want to be fighting a bunch of them all right here, especially on the pipes. Just take your time. Grab the freezing grease. Right over there is another one. We gotta get a little close or else he won't aggro to us. One hanging off right there. And then right over here, you can shoot that one off and then jump off right here. Take him out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's one across the way, we're going to run and take him out. Grab this item. We will come back and get all that stuff. I just want to come up here. Get shadow bait. And then we're going to pull this lever. We're going to be dropping down there in just a moment. First, let's finish taking care of these imps. That guy right there has a big old sword. Try not to fall off. 
very easy to fall off here, so don't do that. It's bad. Grab some fire grease. And then right over here, we have a pipe that we can hop down to. And we can see a lobster or shrimp creature enemy. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our inventory, come all the way down till we get to the soft cotton. We're going to take some soft cotton. And then we're going to fall off right here. You want to be at the lowest point before you drop off that pipe or you're going to die. I promise. Be careful for this lobster. I hate these enemies, but we're going to have to kill them. And the easiest way I find to kill them is to cheese them through the doorway. It is time consuming, but it also saves you from dying and having to run back here and try again and try again till you finally kill him. So just use your bow. Cheese him from the doorway. There's nothing wrong with that. When they get their claws stuck like that, you can run out and then smack them a few times with your sword if you want to. I don't, but you can. Right here we get Moog's Shackle. That'll come in handy a little later once we're fighting the actual boss of this area. Shouldn't have shot that arrow. See, just like that, then you can go out there and get a couple hits with your sword if you want. You can also use poison arrows if you want. It'll probably save you some time because you'll poison the lobster boy. Now we can come over here and freely grab all this loot. Now let's go back through here and there is an elevator right there. We're not going to go up that just yet. We're actually going to come down here. We're going to light this grace and then we're going to do a catacomb. Go ahead and activate that summoning pool. Careful, there's some guys up top. They're going to spit some wormy acid stuff at you. Try not to run into that stuff. It does hurt and poisons you at the same time. This catacomb can be a little confusing, but if you just follow the path I'm taking, you shouldn't have any problems. There is a much more confusing part in this area a little later on, which I think I'll end up using 
some of those stones. Uh, I think they're colored stones, something. I can't remember the name of them, but they'll have different colors to them. Probably end up using those to help guide everybody. Pull out our bow again. Shoot pillar. Then we'll be going over to the right in just a moment. First, we want to come up here. Take that guy out first. And then jump up top. Make sure you're right up against the pillar before you jump. Or it won't activate the pillar for some reason. Like I said, these guys are real pushovers if you can do some heavy attacks on them. At least three heavy attacks. Get the Crucible Scale Talisman. Grave Glove Wart 9. Just making sure I'm not missing an item. And then grab this item and we're going to hop down. We have a couple of enemies we have to take out. Well, we don't have to take them out, but I'm going to. Just to make sure nothing's sneaking up on us. So we don't want to go up the stairs there. We want to come over here. We will be going up those stairs in just a moment. But first we want to loot a couple items over here. Drink a flask real quick. They do have a chance to drop their omen cleaver. It's an all right weapon, nothing special. Grab a golden rune 11 and some ghost glove war eight. Now we can veer off to the right and then we'll go up the stairs. Nothing over there. And then straight ahead is the path to progression. We don't want to go that way. We want to come over here. Take that guy out. Kill all those enemies. We're going to have another cursed omen or ill omen, whatever you want to call them. Go down here, 
And then right here. I'm gonna go up these stairs. Be very careful, we're gonna have one up top there. Use the same strategy. And then we're gonna hop through this window. Turn around. And then to the right is that pillar that is to progression. So just stand up against it, hop up, it'll bring you up top. And then we go to the right and we have two imps. Go down this ladder. Then over here, grab ourselves a sacramental bud and then pull the lever. Then we're gonna hop down and we're gonna head northwest. If you go southeast, you're going to go back into the catacomb, and you don't want to do that. We've already been through it, obviously. So just head northwest and go straight to the boss room. Here, we're going to drink our flask. We're going to come in here. Summon in our mimic tier. get the Lord of Blood's Exultion. Grab some root resin. You can never have enough root resin. It'll allow you to uh, make greases. So now we're just going to backtrack, go up the stairs, and continue forward. If you need to rest at that grace, go ahead and do that. I honestly don't need to. I've only used one flask so far okay we see these ghost guys don't even worry about them we're gonna roll into this wall and then to the left we're gonna roll into another one take out the snail and that will kill all those enemies we get ourselves the Halig Drake talisman plus one Keep going up the stairs. Grab a golden rune 11 and then we're going to pull a lever. It's going to open up a shortcut. We're going to run all the way to the end. But first we want to take out this guy. Go ahead and drop down right here. Want to turn around. There's a couple of rats. There's actually quite a few rats. Go 
this is a good spot to farm some rune arcs if you're a little low on them. And I say good, but like I said in the last video, it's okay. Like rats are not the best rune arc farm, but they get the job done when you need it done. I'm gonna wait here for just a second. And then run, climb up the ladder. And then we have a couple of those creepy hand enemies that I despise. And then be very careful. There's one of the big hands right here. Don't get grabbed by it. Got a lost ashes of war and a somber seven. Let me out. Let me out of here. Must eat more. Defile more. Everything that matters to you for generations to come. I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. Who are you? I've been here long enough. I will kill again and defile each corpse with care. <laughs> Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed, along with their children. And their children's children for all time to come. So, do make sure you tell him to leave his jail. We can hop down here, we won't take any fall damage. But it's a lot faster than taking the ladder down. Now we want to go to the pipe to the left. This is not the confusing one. Want to hop down right here. ourselves a stone sword key then we can open up the door I'm gonna come over here and then right here, we're going to drop down. We will be getting that item shortly. And then we want to take out these guys first. So here's the item that I said we would be getting shortly. 
just some rainbow stone arrows and that's what I was thinking of. I'll probably use some rainbow stones to mark our pathway and the next um, sewer drains, I guess they are, that we come to. So over here, we're going to have to kill three of these cursed omen. Luckily, we only have to fight them one at a time. Come on, bud. Here's the last one. We're going to come over here, pull this lever, and it just leads out to the other side. So now we have both sides open. Go ahead and open up the double doors here. that guy out and then we're gonna run back to the top and then right over here we're gonna hop down and we have a silver scarab go ahead and take him out for a somber six Grab some string and then pull out your beast repellent torch. We're going to be needing that. I run by these enemies. I don't even bother fighting them. No use in fighting them. I'm going to run down this way. We're going to hop down and we have quite a few basilisks over here. And we have one more over here that's going to pop out at us. Let's keep running. And then we're going to climb up the ladder. And then instead of going up the stairs, we're going to veer off to the left. Wait for that basilisk to get done spewing out its death. Okay, we're done with the basilisk. But we have another... Cursed Omen. We get the Omen Baron. Come over here. 
Grab a poison stone. And then we're going to open up these double doors. And this is going to lead us straight to the main grace. So if you die or you need to rest out of grace, it's just right there. Wait for him to come over here. Pull out our bow and stay right here on this platform or else you're going to aggro a second imp. You don't want to be fighting two of them on this small pipe. And he's dead. So he died to stupidity. We're gonna do is we're gonna hop down as soon as we hop down we're gonna run over here jump up take out this imp and turn around because immediately behind us we have another imp hold your shield out it's an ambush Grab a golden rune tin, and then we can kick down this ladder right here. This is where we just killed that cursed omen. Hop on this pipe and hop inside. Now there's a couple ways to go. This way over here is progression. We don't want to go that way. And this is the pipes that I was talking about can be quite confusing. So what we're gonna do is put on some rainbow stones That way we can mark the path for everybody. Just drink a flask because we're going to get a bunch of crimson scarabs and cerulean scarabs. So we're just going to mark this right here. That way we know that we're going to this pipe. This is a dead end. And then right here, that just leads to a dead end as well. Now we can backtrack. And now we're going to throw a stone right here. Hopefully I'm not confusing everybody. Like I said, I know that this part can be very confusing because there's so many different ways to take. Like right down here. Let's be careful of that guy. Grab ourselves a smithing eight. Here we go. We're at the end of this. So now we can head off in this direction. A 
Over there is a hole. Be really careful. You don't want to drop in that hole. It'll set you back. And then right here, we do want to fall down in this hole. If you jump across and veer off to the right, there is a big rat you can kill. I don't find it to be relevant, so it's up to you. But as soon as we drop down, you want to dodge. Because that guy is going to try to grab you. And then right over here, we can open up this door for a shortcut. Then we'll slide down this ladder. Got a big pot boy that we need to take out first. Get ourselves a ritual pot. And then take the elevator down. We're taking the elevator down. We're going to put on the Mog Shackle. So come in handy in just a moment. And then we're going to sit at this grace so we can get our Wondrous Flask of Physic back. Use it in the boss fight. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. Grab the smithing stone six and then we're going to drink our flask come in here i like to get behind a pillar till he summons in use mog shackle can only use it two times on him and then after that it's done don't stand in that uh, fire it will cause blood loss buildup there we go you beat Mog the Omen. Get Blood Flame Talons from him. Go ahead and light this grace. And then right here in this treasure chest is an amazing talisman. It's the Erd Tree's Favor plus one. So let's go ahead and put that on now. We'll take off our Beast Repellent Torch. And then we'll put on the Erd Tree's Favor plus one. And we'll take off mog shackle because we don't need it anymore all right this is where we're going to end the video i want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video it really does mean so much to me hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe or don't I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.